Hello everyone, it is Melody and I'm coming at you live from you already know. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a good old story time. And this story actually happened when we were in Italy. And I want to share it with you guys, one, because it's pretty funny, and two, hopefully you can learn from our mistake and you will not find yourself homeless at 1 a.m. in Rome like we did. So let me go ahead and set this scene for you. So we flew from Florida to London. In London, we had a seven hour layover. It was supposed to be nine, but our flight was delayed, so it was only seven hours. Then we flew from London to Rome. So we were supposed to get into Rome at midnight and the place that we were staying was a bed and breakfast. And that means that unlike a typical hotel, a bed and, a bed and breakfast, which throughout this video I'll be calling it a B&B. &B. Not to be confused with an Airbnb, this is just a B&B. &B. But anyways, so this B&B &B does not have someone constantly there at the property checking people in. So if you are going to check in late, like we were, you need to let them know you have to pay an extra fee and you'll be able to check in whenever you want. So I let them know, emailed them, da -da 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 -da. we are coming in on the 19th, meaning midnight morning of the 19th. So I let them know, hi, we're coming in late. We won't be there until around 1.30. Is that okay? She emailed me back. She was really nice about it. And she says, yes, that's fine. There's actually another couple that's going to be checking in that late as well. So she was even going to waive the late check-in fee. So we were like, yay, super wonderful. Now, back to London. When we were in London, our flight from London to Rome was delayed. So the delay caused us to arrive to Rome an hour late. So we got to the airport around one instead of getting to the actual hotel around one. We are at the airport, we're finding our luggage, super fast to find the luggage. It's about 1.30 in the morning here in Rome at the airport. We're looking for taxis. Up until then, we had not been able to contact the B&B to let them know that we were still coming. They didn't send us an email or anything and that had been the main way that we were communicating and we also did not have Italian SIM cards to put into our phone to be able to dial an Italian number and call them. We asked the taxi driver to let us use his phone. He did, but the B&B &B did not pick up. So we weren't sure what to expect, if someone would be there waiting for us or if they would have left already thinking we weren't going to come. But at this point we had no choice but to go to the B&B &B and to see what was going to happen. So about 20 minutes later, our taxi driver dropped us off at the B&B &B, and basically our B&B &B was inside of a big building. And in the big building you have like, you know on the side, the different names and like buzzes that you can go ahead and try to buzz someone and tell them, hi, it's whatever, let me in. So we find the B&B &B name on the buzz list or whatever you call that thing. We buzz them, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. We're like, no, what's gonna happen? What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to sleep. It's like two in the morning at this point and what are we gonna do? And then we decide that we are going to be those obnoxious people that buzz every person in the building, hoping that someone will let us in. So we do that and we think that someone is talking to us from the B&B &B buzz that we press. And this person is speaking to us in Italian. It's this man, he sounds pretty nice. And we're thinking like, yes, someone's coming to get us. They didn't leave us. And 15 minutes later, nothing happened. So we buzz again, we buzz again, nothing is happening. And we are just thinking like, what are we about to do? Are we gonna find a new hotel? Should we just wait till the morning and just sit on this bench outside? What are we gonna do? So in this moment, Shanice becomes the MVP and she turns on her phone roaming. She decides that she's going to call the lady one more time on the Italian number that she has given us and by the grace of God, this lady picks up. Now, this is where the story all comes together and we realized the massive mistake that we made. So we flew into the airport in Rome on the 19th, the wee hours of the morning on the 19th. We booked our B&B from the 19th to the 22nd, but because we booked it from the 19th, technically that means from 2 p.m., which is like typical check-in time, 
after that is when we booked the room for if we wanted a room for the 19th the wee hours of the 19th we need to book it from the 18th we both had no idea this did not even cross our minds we're like okay we get in on the 19th our hotel starts on the 19th perfect so flashback or jump back to the story when the lady answered we tell her hi it's melody we're here um hopefully it's not too late i saw the email saying that it was okay that we're checking in late is anyone here blah 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 and she was like oh you're supposed to check in tomorrow tomorrow the 19th like in the wee hours of that morning and i'm like oh my gosh no but we're here now is there anything that you can do is like what what should we do and she luckily was so kind she said that she was going to come to check us into the b and b and to be honest let me give you a little side note there actually was someone staying in the b and b but she didn't feel comfortable letting us in because she was alone and she was scared now I understand and I'm thinking if I was in her shoes I might have done the same thing but at the same time two girls like what are we gonna do but anyways so if that lady person staying at the B&B would have felt comfortable and she could have just buzzed us in and then everything would have been fine but because she didn't feel comfortable the owner of the B&B came to get us at 2 30 in the morning and all that we had to pay for was his taxi ride from where he lived to the b and and back to where he lived. They didn't even make us pay for that extra night or for the late check-in. So they were so, so kind. So that <laughs> was how we ended up homeless on the streets of Rome at 1.30 in the morning. This is just a huge lesson to me that when I am going to a place and I'm going to be getting there the wee hours of the morning, I technically need to book for the night before to have somewhere to sleep when I get in to wherever I'm going super early in the morning. And honestly, up until this happened to us, I had like that just, just never crossed my mind. Shanice either, we both were like, oh my gosh. Like it makes perfect sense, but we did not even think about it. And I actually mentioned this very briefly in the Roaming in Rome vlog. So I'll go ahead and link that up above and I was saying how we got in late last night and how it was very much of an adventure. So yeah, that was the adventure. All right guys, so that is going to be it for me. That is the end of this story time. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a story time, but a lot of stuff has been happening to me ever since I started traveling. So I have a lot of them. So if you guys would like to see more story times in the future, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Stay awesome and stay inspired. Peace.